going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's free photo frame. It's an in the hoop project and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop, some wash away stabiliser, my scissors, tape, batting and fabrics cut to size and I'm going to be putting a few pins around the top edge of my hoop to secure my stabiliser. You're going to start off by loading the file into your machine and then you're going to hoop two sheets of wash away stabiliser and I've got this doubled over here and then you can pin around the edge of your hoop and I just put the pin across so it's laying actually flat on top of my hoop and then bring it back round and through and that stops the, the, the stabiliser being pulled down through the two pieces of the hoop then you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your outline we're now going to start laying the fabrics down and we're going to start off with the back of the frame and we're going to lay our fabric down the wrong side facing upwards over the outline and then place the batting down over the top and then your front fabric on top of that and then you can Put a little bit of tape down just to hold it in place while it stitches. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number two. You're now going to place your heart fabric over the heart outline here and tape it down. And now you're going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. We're now going to trim away all the excess fabric from around the heart and remove all that's in the centre of this stitch line here as well. I'm just using a quick unpick to create a slit in my fabric so that I can get my uh, scissors in and you want to cut away the, fa the fabrics both uh, back and front and the batting from the inside but you want to leave the stabiliser Once you've trimmed and tidied it all up, you're going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number four and that's going to do the zigzagging around this edge here and around the heart. Next you're going to stitch round number five and that's going to do the decorative stitching around the border. So you might want to put a matching bobbin in your machine now. We're now going to stitch round number six and that's going to do the satin stitching around the inner frame. Okay. 
you might want to change your thread for the next bit because you're going to stitch round number seven and that's going to do the satin stitch around the heart. I'm not changing mine, I'm leaving it as is. Next you're going to add the backing onto the back of the hoop so you're going to turn that over and you're going to place the fold of your backing fabric to the top here and I'm going to turn that around so that we can see what we're doing and I'm going to take that to the top of the hearts there and because I want something to hang it on the wall I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon on the back of mine and then I'm going to tape it in place You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number eight and that's going to secure the back and also the ribbon. We're now going to trim up all the excess fabric from the front and the back. I've removed my tape already. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number nine and that's going to do the zigzagging around the edge. If you haven't already before you want to put a matching bobbin into your machine now and you're going to stitch round number 10 which is the final satin stitch round around the edge. You're now going to free your frame from the hoop, so you're going to turn it over and then cut round close to the stitching. And now all that remains is to remove all the excess stabiliser. So I've got some warm water and a cotton bud here and I'm just going to run it around the edge. Now I'm going to free this piece as well. That's our frame complete. And there it is finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.